So you're selling your bike? Yes, I am. Your street glide? Yep. Your beloved street glide? Yes, unfortunately. You, you guys seen Jerry street glide on my channel a bunch of times. He's, he, yeah, he's, he's on it. Blue Thunder. Blue Thunder, go. Bye. Welcome back to another video guys. You guys haven't seen this pretty little face here in a while, right? Jerry back in the building. Jerry! Jerry! Alright guys, so today I wanted to talk about determining and buying the right bike for you, right? So, I don't know. I, I kind of got the idea when, I mean, when I found out that Jerry was selling his Blue Thunder. Um, 2018 Street Glide Stage 4. So you have, you have, well you had your uh, street Glide, you got your Pan America, mm -hmm. and then you have your Night Train. So yes. now you just have your Night Train and your Pan America. Yes. So obviously now, later down the line, I know you're going to be looking to buy something else. Mm -hmm. um, Especially if they rev max a touring bike, I'll be all over it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's going to be this year, but... It's alright, I got a rev max. I'm good. Yeah. I got an Evo, I'm good. You might want to wait to the launch right now, you might want to wait to the launch next year. Oh, I'm going to definitely wait to the launch. I'm not buying nothing before the launch. Okay. That's not gonna happen. I mean, we got we got a week. I could wait a week. I got some that much patience. Yeah. I mean, there's, yeah. I mean, there's nothing that's come out so far 2022 <clears throat> that's impressed me. It's all carryover stuff, which is understandable. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I kind of want to talk about for those people who are out there right now looking for a bike. Mm -hmm. How they're gonna go about buying that specific bike that fits them for certain purposes, either riding style or type of riding they're gonna be doing. To up uh, touring. Everything. Yeah. Um, you got to think about this stuff. I mean, if especially like a lot of people just don't think they go bike on passion or whatever. Like right now, if, if I had to go buy a bike from Harley on passion, I'm in love with the new 2022 Baja Blue Street Street Bob. Street Bob. But that bike is totally impractical for me. For you, it's impractical. Yeah. For me, it's impractical unless I was going to ride by myself. I ride with my wife. So you know, not all the time. Most time, I'm by myself. But I have other bikes that can do that. I don't, but that bike, if I was just gonna go up pure, what I would want right now, Baja Blue Street Bob. I think that bike for like a secondary bike for someone who, let's say, has a bagger and they yes. want like something light. Oh yeah. Uh, you know what? I want something light, something that I can hop around oh, yeah. anywhere. Stage Perfect. two cam pipe, couple little things. I would change very minimal things on it yeah. this year. And I love that blue paint shot. Or for someone moving up from a sporty. Yeah, from a sportster or any other smaller bike. Yeah, if you're moving up from any other type of small bike or sporty. Yeah, like a metric or something. That to me right now. Or a scout or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that to me is like, price range. I mean, when I talk about pricing, because Harley Davidson has just increased prices on everything this year. Yeah, everything. But for the price, let's just say, if that's the next bigger bike you want to get into, I think that might be one of, a really good bike to step yes. into right now. Yeah. Right? Um, now, with that being said, we're also going to talk about um, pricing uh, when it comes to money as well. Yeah. Because that, that's what the budget. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you also gotta you you gotta budget your way, right? You gotta see what's your budget. Mm -hmm. You gotta see what you gotta use it for. So I kind of want I kind of want to pick out like 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 let, let's just pick out three different individuals, right? Let's pick out an individual who's buying a first bike. Yeah. Let's pick out an individual who has. A bagger and it's mm -hmm. looking for a secondary lighter bike. Yeah, and let's look. I don't know. We think it should be a third individual. Somebody who's like your has like your low rider S is looking to go up to a touring bike. Perfect. So let's start with the first one. Uh, first person who's Porsche look, Bob, yeah, a person who's looking to buy their first bike, brand new to the Harley market, or it could just be their first Harley. For me, as of right now, granted the twenty six things are going to change, and I also uh, I'm going to mention something probably gonna come out this year if I was gonna if I was somebody who's buying a brand new bike never ridden before I would look at the street pop I, like I said I think it's a great wow. bike it's lightweight it's I wouldn't buy a Sportster because those are on the way out but if they come out with a 975 Sportster like they might on the 26 yeah I would buy that I mean that, that's a different discussion yeah I would buy that from, from the bikes that are out right now I would buy street pop the street pop or a standard. Standard has nothing. It's all black and it's all matte. For a little bit more, I think it's like two grand, fifteen hundred. <laughs> I buy the Street Bob. I mean, above that, you're going in from fifteen grand up to like twenty. 
There's nothing really in between. I, I, I honestly wouldn't look at the standard if I'm looking at that street bar. Because like you said, for a little more. Yeah, a little more. You, you, street you, you, you get, you get your engine. passenger pillion, so you can take your girlfriend or wife out for bigger a bigger engine. Ride. Bigger engine. New mag wheels, which yep. are pretty cool. Well, they got new mag wheels on the other ones, but they're silver. Yeah. They're not black. I haven't seen the silver ones. I haven't yeah, seen the silver. Ones. Really? Yeah. Oh, they might be nice. No, there's no more spoke wheels on anything. You have to pay extra. It's an option now. It's an option, yeah. You yeah. have to pay extra. So, all right, so you got a bigger engine, you got the pillion seat for a two mm -hmm. up, which, I mean, two up. Stock on handlebars, I'm, I like the eight stock eight hangers. I would keep them. Yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, I would change them. I put a flush amount of gas cap. That's the only thing that really bothers me. The tank is a little small, it's 3.7. But if you buy a sports two, you're down there too. Yeah. I wouldn't buy a sports because nice it's too much. Nice get with that. Really nice paint job. Engine, the blue, the wheels. red, even the gold, the gray, and the black with the orange is hot too. Yeah, I, I don't see a bad paint job in the bunch. And it's a, and a like the street bob is such an iconic bike to me. Yeah, like, it's just like sometimes you I think, think it's a Harley great Davidson. entry level Harley where you're not at a Sportster. Yeah, and to tell you the truth, for that. if you buy a forty eight, you're close. They're twelve and change now. For this year, they're yeah, I think like close to thirteen already. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, after taxes and freight. Well, you have to pay taxes and freight and, and like so. charge. But for two grand difference, I buy the street bob. Oh yeah, for sure. It's not like it's any a day. five grand difference anymore. Any day, any day, yeah, any day. All day long. Any day. And the bike, like I said, it's not that heavy. It's a one fourteen. You can do very minimal work to it. You do a stage one or a stage two, that bike will rock. I mean, it's gonna rock with a stock 114 anyway. Yeah. The, the only thing- uh, I do two on the one. The, the only thing about the, the street bike that always pulls it back, even now, even with, with the new prices no and everything. Protection. It's, it's like, dude, like you're still not putting a dual disc in the front, like- It still stops good. Yeah. It's, you're it's not good. racing on a racetrack. No, it's, it's good. Yeah, still. It's also with the new mags, actually, the one of the guy, one guy said on it- It'll look cleaner. It, it looks cleaner because you cleaner. see the five spokes now. It looks cleaner, yeah. It does look a lot cleaner. I, I still prefer dual disc though. Yeah. Well, coming from a guy who's got a 1999 soft tail, you want to talk about not stopping. <laughs> Yo, we didn't even cheers, man. Oh, uh, yeah, cheers. You got? Cheers back together. Got corona. corona. Got I got corona. corona. Listen, juice bomb. If you guys are able to get a juice bomb, you're going to love it. It's, Sloop? It's amazing, man. Sloop Brewery. So, a second person, a person who has a bagger. And you know what? Let's talk about you real quick because I know. Even though you have you had your street glide, um, <clears throat> and you had your uh, your night train mm -hmm. and your Pan American, which is obviously something totally different, so I don't mm -hmm. kind of want to step into that because I know for a while sometimes you, you brought up to my attention that you're like you're like, listen, the, like I feel like the street glide sometimes is too heavy. Like I'm getting older. Oh yeah. Right. Like it was too heavy. Well, what it is is when. It I bought the bike and I did the one fourteen stage four and everything. So you I bought the bike power. Power. 17 or 17 so uh, 17 i've had it for four years oh, wow. it's an 18 model year but i bought it in seven the end of seven. yeah yeah yeah. when i designed the bike i wanted it set up for touring so then i put the lowers on then i put the chop tour pack on i put <coughs> a touring seat on changed the shocks did the engine work so because when i'm loaded down it's me my wife what, you get, what shocks you got the legends legends so when i was when i'm loaded down we're going on trips you know even up to lake george or down the shore or whatever you know you load both saddlebags four pack and everything you're well over a thousand pounds just for the bike yeah then it's me and my wife so sometimes i had to have surgery on my foot so i'm a lot of commission <laughs> but i've had issues where sometimes i can't put the bike with her and all the weight now, I've been I'm riding a long anything. time and I can ride anything. And you're tall too. I'm 6'3 and I can ride anything. And you see me ride every, every, everything and mm -hmm. anything. But with a second person on and added weight, you have to take that into consideration. Sometimes it's a little too much. So, all right, because I know you brought it to my attention. Well, Never yeah. dropped the bike, but. You, you, you were like, hey, listen, like, it, it's, it's, it feels it's like it's, heavy, it's getting too so heavy. Like, and my wife like, notices I kind of want to look at something. At smaller. lower speeds, like at highway speeds, I'm fine, everything. It's when you're maneuvering on a parking lot, you're trying to make a U turn and gravel. It's so, noticeable. So when. And that's just for me because of my issues with my foot. But hold on. At, at those points when. Well, when you when you were thinking about all right, I want something lighter, like yeah. what 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 were you looking at? What interested you? Well, as we've been talking about for years, we talk about our wish list with our mini bagger, the, the low rider s, the low rider s touring with supposedly, the low rider s touring, which I made a few videos on the past the week. Bags guys. in an FXRT fairing. If it comes out uh, next week, we must wait. Might be a possibility, but I'd have to put some floorboards on that thing. I couldn't ride it with pegs. For the bikes that that were out right now, we're not talking about what's be coming out right now i, I, I want to know what, what you were what, right what now if i was. had to pick a touring bike 
You're I remember down from a touring. I told that going down from a touring bike to a two up bike. That's not on the touring platform. So it's not a Road King, not anything else. We're going soft tail platform. I would go Heritage. But yeah. the bags are a little small, so I would change them out to Leather Pros mm. to get the room. Because those bags are like this. I had a Heritage. I had a 2018 Heritage. They're compact, and then they're just ugly as hell. Yeah, and they don't really work too well. They're yeah. not watertight. Yeah. I, I just don't. I, I would buy cool. Leather Pros. Yeah, but that was amazing. I'm thinking heritage just for the if if I had to go non-touring, you know, because people are gonna go, oh, you could get a road king now. I'm saying non-touring. Is the road king still considered a touring bike? Yes, it's a bigger frame. Now, if they redesign the touring, which hopefully in the next year or two happens, and they go to a lighter monoshock frame, I'm back on tour. It's just for now, I, I can't. So the heritage will be your top, your number one pick. I couldn't think of anything else because they discontinued the sport glide and without this bike coming out with bags on it, what else is there? Yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna buy a fat boy and throw bags on it. Because you, you would want to do with bags. I, I, I'd have to have something to write two up on. But you, you could also just get your stock Lowrider S and do what I did with mine. And oh, add, absolutely. And leather pros. Absolutely. Add yourself a fairing. Depending on what the price difference is with the fairing and the radio and the bags. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm saying the stock. Like I'm talking about what's out right now. What's out right now. Yeah. Well, I would, I would still I, wait. I mean, I would still wait for the leaked 117. I wouldn't wait for the bike. Like, like several times. Like you, you've had. How many times have you thought about buying this bike? And you're like, damn. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I hate it. It's true. Since he's had that bike, I'm like, oh, I wanted one. I wanted one. And it came close when it came out with the crimson because I really like yeah, the crimson. Right. Oh, right. I mean, you can't get a low rider S right now. You probably can't get a Heritage right now. The only thing you can get is the carryover from models that are out. I mean, you could get a brand new Heritage. Yeah, brand new. But you can't get this bike yet. And nobody's got old ones. Yeah, it's, they're they're pretty hard to find. Yeah, right? pretty hard to find. All right, so we determined if if you're really gonna go down right now with the bikes that are out right now, you kind of get a heritage. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not doing crazy. You're also I'm, I, besides the problem with my foot and the weight and everything else, I can't do five, six, seven hundred miles. Not that you can't on a heritage. It's not as comfortable, but I can't physically. The most I could do is like two fifty, three hundred now. Yeah, you're getting to that. Yeah, I'm getting. Yeah, it's just yeah. I have health issues. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, um, all right, so we established that. So let's talk about the, the third person who's looking for a bike. Someone who, who's going from this. Someone who's going for a sports. Yeah, anyone who already has a sportster or lowrider, street bob, anything. It could be anything. Anyone, anything. Any, anyone who has anything that's not touring. Anyone who has a bike that that wants to move up to a touring. To a touring. Um, you're moving from anything else to a tour. You're gonna have three options. I mean, you're gonna have several options. You got three. several options, yeah. but it's basically three models. Four yeah. Models. So you got a Road King. You got your Road Glide, which I have here, and then Street Glide. And the Street Glide. And the Ultra. And then the Ultras. Yeah. If you want, that's where you have to. This is what we talked about before. Because you thought about getting an Ultra recently as well. Too. I had a 2017 Ultra Limited. I bought three months before I bought my Street Glide. It's all black. All black. Mm. Yes, yeah, all black one. 107. 2017, I got a phenomenal deal on I bought it out in Pennsylvania. It was like an end of year model deal. Was it the, that wasn't the Road Glide, right? No, that was the Road Glide. That was a Road Glide special. That was, yeah. that was two bikes. That was like four bikes later. The bike I should have kept, man. The bike I should have kept and built out. So I bought the, the Limited and I said to my wife when we bought it, she goes, oh, it's got this big King Tour pack. It's got a rack. I could put extra, women want to put extra luggage. So she wanted to put the extra luggage, the saddlebags. We had communication between both of us with the headsets. Uh, it was great. Heated grips, big cushy seat, and even the I, suspension. I, like, I love the, the seat suspension is suspension better. Is different. Yeah, you didn't know that until you rode. So I got on it. Because we did years ago, a couple years last ago. Year. Yeah, last year in the winter, last year, or like yeah. February, we were freezing. Yeah. It was like 20 degrees. When the new releases. When we went to the dealership, and we said, "Listen, we're going to do a road glide special," and he goes, "I said," and he said, "Well, what else are we going to do? We'll, we'll just do that." I said, "No, we're going to do two bikes side by side." I said, road, uh, road Glide Ultra, you got a Road Glide Ultra? He goes, yeah, and he goes, it's a totally different ride. And I said, yeah, I know, because it's different suspension. It, it rides so And then he man. rode it, and he was like, oh my God. Absolutely. You were right. tippy-toeing it, but you were riding it. Yeah, but it, it was- The it, seat and the thing, it's, it's so more much The oh suspension felt differently. It, I, it felt like it was tuned differently. The seat was yeah. amazing, got the heater grips. Yeah, it was, it's And that's everything. all from stock, you know? It was yeah, like, yeah, lowers, it was it's, I pretty much made my bike like that. I put a detachable tour pack on, I put the lowers on. I was gonna switch all that off this summer or whatever. But that's where you have to be honest with yourself. Okay, you can go and you can buy, I'm just going offhand with prices from last year, not this year. You can go buy a Street Glide or a Road Glide, regular one for 23,000. 
you can go buy a special, you're closer to 28, 29,000. You buy an ultra, you're in the $30,000 range. But think about when you buy when you buy a regular, you say, oh, I can deal with a regular. Now you gotta change your seat. Now you gotta put a sissy bar. Now you gotta put a backrest. Now you gotta change your suspension. You gotta change a lot of shit where the ultra comes with all that stuff. Yeah. So you gotta be honest with you. And yeah, oh, you wanna look cool. You could take the tour pack off the ultra and you could change the seat out. Yeah, and the ultras also do come with, with, with the special paint jobs now, too. Yes, with the yes. black. When they changed, that it sold it for me. Yeah. When they went, because I would buy all black. I'm not going chrome again. I'm going all black. I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. Like, I, I've had my, my bike for some time right now. I'm, Six months. I, I'm, I'm still not doing heavy set miles on it. No. You know, I, I'm, I haven't done it yet. Like, this year, I'm planning to do, like, longer rides, yes. But as of now, I haven't done any long rides. And it's well, fine. I mean, that, that, bike, that, that bike is amazing. I, I use it for everything, you know? You still can. That's the good thing about it. But you have to be honest with yourself. People all come in, they want specials. But then I explain to them, you got to do a seat. You got to do this suspension. Mm -hmm. You got to change the tour pack. You got to do this. You're better off buying an Ultra, especially now that they come blacked out. Because before it was just chrome and that was the only way. And, and with the special paint jobs. Too. And the special paint jobs. When I bought the 17 Ultra, I was, I was under the mindset that me and my wife are gonna crush six, seven hundred mile days. Yeah. Between my health and her not being able to ride that long and everything, the yeah, reality is three hundred mile days. Yeah. Which is still decent or whatever. That's a, that's a decent but ride. seven, eight hundred mile trips or thousand mile trips were out of my reach. So that's why when I got the street glide, I was making it more of a performance bagger, and it was like stripped down low and everything was, you know, I did the engine and I did all this crazy stuff to it. I didn't do really do anything to the Ultra. I was riding a stock and I was really not debating because it had a deep sound even with the stock exhaust. I was debating changing the exhaust because if I was going to do 700 miles, I didn't want this loud exhaust in my ear the whole time. But that's where you have to be honest with yourself. Now, if you say, okay, I'm going to buy a low rider S and I'm going to club style it out and nobody's ever going to ride with me, then as long as that's where you're at at this point in time, you do it. But then say you, now you buy a bike and you want to go to Sturgis and you want to ride the Sturgis, you want to ride your wife. You want to take weekend trips with your wife you know you need to think about that because my wife even's like you know you're gonna buy a low rider you, you, the soft tail you have is the same thing pretty much for her to ride on yeah but for somebody else it, it all depends on where you're at like we said budget what your idea is or your vision is for the bike even if you do you don't have to do everything at once i did stuff over four years every year every yeah, winter yeah. every winter i changed stuff and did stuff. okay so some, some guys that they'll get the bike and, and they'll do months have we have our friend sal boom right from the dealer i want this yeah. and just blanket here's the money go yeah you know but not everybody I mean, does it, that yeah you know if you, if you have the money but you know whatever but yeah. he wanted from the word go he wanted it set up yeah. this way and he had an idea and that's yeah. the way it was yeah some people it's a progression and then sometimes when you go to going through your progression you think about it. like when you had your sports tour, you were fine with your sports tour riding by yourself, cruising around town local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when you started doing real trips, you're like, oh, because when you start doing a lot of highway on a sports tour, no, nah, nah, forgot about nah. it. No, that's why that, that's what I know. I'm like, you know, what? I want something with more power. I want something where I can, so you know, go our far. our advice to you is, like, put a little thought into try not to go totally by passion. That unless there's a bike, I mean, you just totally love it. Like, I, I if I had to walk into the dealer right now and buy something. Well, hold on. That, that's what I was gonna ask you because. Yeah going down from your bagger down to something else right now but let's say if you did want to get another bagger right now well, what would it be gauntlet gray road glide or the blue and the blue and black but it's very close to my blue and black so it probably would trigger stuff but what i want to get what I want, Lake Lake. what I want to get straight first is which bike not, not, it's on top okay. of jobs i would say road glide road glide Limited. Team Roguard! Limited. Limited. <laughs> Limited because I want to do shit to it. I want to do nothing. The Ultra? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, all, it's called the Limited. The Limited, yeah. Rogue Glide Limited, I would buy. Yeah. My situation, everybody's situation is different. And, and and the money situation is not the problem. So my budget is not the problem because... Can't be baller? No, I'm saying, I, I, I if you have like a $30,000, $40,000 touring bike to go buy something on the lower end is not a big deal. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm rich or whatever, but I'm saying... Okay, if, big baller. I'm just saying if you have to go... <laughs> but now if they come out at CVO, and it's instead of 42000 it's 50000 this year, I'm done. That's, yeah. I'm done. So some advice for you guys. A, go over your budget, see what you can afford. 
Think about what type of riding you're going to be doing. Yeah, if you're going to be riding with your significant long other or term. girlfriend, you might even want to take them with. Long term. Think long about term. long term. Long term. Um, yeah, see if you're going to be riding, if you're going to have two up or not. Um, I mean, if you're going to trade the bike in, in a year, then screw it. Buy whatever you want. And then. And think about what type of updates or upgrades you're going to want to do to your bike. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to be doing a certain amount of upgrades. Yeah, you're going to put a big cushy seat. It might, be back, cheaper, might just buy the Ultra. It might be cheaper to go even from a standard to a special. Yeah. Get a special. Now, you determined that. I determined that. I was like, you know what? I don't want a standard. Because originally you were going to buy a, a, a standard. Yeah, I was. He was. He was going to buy a standard. And then he's like, oh, no. No. I mean, then, I mean, that bike yeah. came out. I was like, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. fun it. But. Determine all those little things, all those factors, put everything together, sit down, take some time. Don't don't just buy yeah. something when you walk in a dealership and just just because you want it, because sometimes uh, I mean it happened with me. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, it happened with me. Six hours later. <laughs> but, but but I I knew I wanted a road ride. Though. Yeah. So at the end of the day I wanted a road We ride. were there six hours for the whole buying process, yeah. but we were we only went to look. Even his wife was like, I thought you went to look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But determine those things. Take your time. Don't just buy anything just when you're like frantic and you're in love with something because you can go home and be like, you know what? Like, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. This is not the bike I actually need. I need a touring seat. Watch. I need this. I need a sissy bar. I need. Exactly. You know, I'm going to ride my wife around because you don't want to alienate them. If they want to ride, I say love them. Your yeah, wife, ride. your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or whatever yeah. you're into. Oh, no. Yeah, my wife, <laughs> my wife, That's what my wife and my girlfriend. Yeah. Um, drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, discussions. If you're all looking for a bike right now, let me know exactly what you're looking for and what exactly is it that interests you. Um, also, what are you looking forward to for next week's uh, launch? Um, I'm definitely having my fingers crossed. Yeah, me too. I hope we are right about the uh, Lowrider S touring. Also, I have a huge surprise for you guys right after that video. Um, yeah. Got some cool stuff going on, like immense. Probably the biggest news ever that I've, I've shared with you guys over this. Uh, so. He knows, but okay. zip. <laughs> Hi, baby. Um, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride. Hey, enjoy the Peace. ride, baby. Peace. Wish I could ride. <laughs> <laughs> Three, one,